Now to Barry's choice of a piece that epitomises anger in music. And to that, we turn to the second of Richard Wagner's monumental ring operas that spans some 17 hours of opera over four days. It's the original movie marathon. However, like anger in life, this emotional roller coaster is distilled into less than three minutes of music. It's the prelude to the second ring opera, Die Valkyr, the Valkyrie, i.e. the warrior maidens of Norse mythology, and these, these Valkyries guide fallen heroes to their afterlife in Valhalla. And as so many composers did before him, Wagner imbues all the cosmological foreboding and this fury into a natural, or could it be a supernatural, storm. The ill-fated hero of Die Valkyrie, Siegmund, is fleeing his enemies through a storm. And so straight up, Wagner grips us tightly around our stomachs as this furious tremolo strings bow their chord repeatedly and unrelentingly. The lower strings then play under this a, a plodding but, but a venomous and also a scale-like melody that continues throughout this prelude. Finally, over this, Wagner introduces one of his famous light motifs. You know how Frodo has his own theme in Howard Shaw's Lord of the Rings score? Or, you know, you can't forget Darth Vader's Imperial March. Well, all of this idea of a melody or a little musical theme being associated with a character, it comes from Wagner. Wagner includes literally dozens of light motifs throughout his ring cycle, each depicting a different character, or an event, or, or an object. And at this point in the stormy prelude, after the tremolo upper strings and the scale-like melodies in the lower strings, Wagner introduces a light motif, the light motif of Donna, the god of thunder. And if you're wondering, it is actually where the reindeer's name comes from, no joke. This majestic theme is sounded first in the horns and is taken up by the rest of the winds and the brass as this natural storm makes way for a sort of cataclysm of an opera in a cycle that is monument to artistic and even to human achievement. And so this marks the end of COVID Classical's foray into anger. It was a real treat to be able to chat to Barry Douglas about anger in music and to explore with you how composers throughout the ages have expressed such a primal human emotion. We have a huge range of emotions that we're still to experience in this craziest of years, this crazy, crazy 2020. And COVID Classical is here to help us find the right music for it. So remember to send your suggestions for what themes you'd like us to, to explore and what themes you'd like us to get into. And remember to like, subscribe, and most importantly, share COVID Classical with your friends, families, and enemies. And until next time, remember to keep the music playing.